hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl natural nisha today i am going to show you how i prepare rice water for healthy hair growth once again i am going to show you how i prepare rice water stay tuned <music> These are the things that you will need to prepare your rice water a bowl to wash your rice in a mason jar to store your rice water for a week or however long you choose to ferment it before use some essential oils i have here peppermint essential oil the essential oil is optional i have seen persons also use orange peel because there is a very pungent or weird smell when the rice is fermented if you are okay with that smell you can opt not to use any essential oils but i will be adding a few drops of peppermint oil to my rice here i have my rice that i will be using one a one cup measuring cup and water once again these are all the things that you will need but it is going to be entirely up to you how you choose to um, prepare your water and the types of essential oils you may add or may not add in your essential oils. So once again, I am going to just jump right into it and show you how I prepare my rice water. I will be using one cup of rice, rinse it in my bowl, add it to the mason jar with a few drops of essential oil seal it and store it in a cool place to ferment for one week before my wash day so here i have in my measuring cup my one cup of rice and i'm going to pour the rice into the water that i have in the bowl then i'm going to proceed by washing my rice and the purpose of washing the rice is to get rid of all the germs in the rice. I'm just going to wash this a few times, then I'll pour the water out. Here you can see the dirt and so forth on the top of the water and their water is a little has a little bit of a cloudy consistency over time as the rice water ferments the cloudy consistency will be more and you will see bubbles indicating that the rice is fermenting which is an indication that it's working I will now go ahead and pour the water off the rice. I may rinse it once more and then transfer it to the mason jar. Here I've completed transferring the rice water to my mason jar. As you can see the rice is at the bottom and the water line is just above the rice. It is now time to add my peppermint essential oil. I will be adding a few drops to my rice water to mask the scent that comes along with the rice being fermented. Now that I've add my 
drops of peppermint oil to my rice water. This is the simple process to completing preparing your rice water to add to your hair regimen on a wash day for healthy hair growth. It is all set and will be left for one week. Once again, I will leave my rice water to ferment for one week. I've placed it in a corner on my kitchen countertop and I will allow it to ferment before I transfer it to my spray bottle to use in my hair regimen for my wash day. I am going to try this out for a few weeks or so and check to see if I'm experiencing any hair growth and I will keep you updated. I am going to insert a clip of how I use the rice water in my hair during my wash day so you can see a demonstration of how it's done. Here I have the water that I have prepared one week ago. It is ready to be transferred to my spray bottle for application to my hair in my wash day regimen. Once again, this is the rice water that was fermenting for one week. I am now going to transfer the fermented rice water to my, my spray bottle. As you can see, there is a very cloudy consistency which indicates that the rice when I opened the mason jar, there was a fizz, which was the indication of the fermented gases escaping from the mason jar. I am going to transfer that water to my spray bottle. I applied a funnel to the top of my spray bottle to make the transfer a lot easier. Here we go. Pour, pour, pour. Pour my fermented water. <laughs> there we go as you can see the water looks a little thick i got some a few grains of rice but that's okay that's not a problem at all i will simply discard that when i am finished with the solution in my spray bottle seal the bottle up and this is it this is my fermented my fermented rice water, it is ready to be sprayed in my hair. So excited. Time to go and get the job done. Here we go. I have my rice water. I'm now simply going to section my hair into four sections. I'm pinning one side up and out the way. Then I will split the next section into two. Also tucking that away. Then I will now spray the rice water to my hair. I just took a little smell. It smells like peppermint, which was the idea of adding the peppermint so that the fermented smell will be masked from the peppermint. And also I get that nice tingly feeling on my scalp from the peppermint oil. I am passing the water from my roots to my ends i am also following up by detangling my curls i am pulling the sections apart and i am getting rid of all tangles as much as possible which would simplify my in shower process by doing this step ahead of time before hopping in the shower the portion that I got from the fermented rice was just enough for all the sections, which was really, really good because any amount of the solution that I do not use, I will simply discard it. So I did a really good measurement of getting the correct amount that I can use and apply to my hair. I am simply using my finger to massage the solution into my scalp and going in by further detangling my hair i'm ensuring that my strands are getting coated with the rice water from roots to ends moving on to the next section i am repeating the process split this section in two tuck that back section away and then proceed to spraying the rice water to my hair. 
Oh yeah, get it in there. Let's go spray. Ensuring that my ends are being coated as well. Following the steps, detangling my hair, ensuring that the water gets from my roots to the ends of my strand. No strands are left behind. Here I have completed all four sections. I am simply now going to tuck them away and pin them up. Follow that up by covering my hair with a recycled plastic bag. Then I am going to put my thermal heat cap on top of the plastic bag and treat my hair for 30 to 45 minutes. The thumbs up means that it is good to go. I am fresh out the shower. My hair is nice and clean. It is light. It is soft. The rice water treatment has been rinsed out of my hair. I followed it up with my wash technique and I'm simply showing you how my hair is looking fresh out of the shower. I have absolutely no products in it. No leave-in conditioner, no oils, no twisting cream. This is just the water and my hair. If you would like to see videos like this, I will link my watermelon treatment and my mayonnaise treatment in the description box be sure to check them out Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video on how I prepared my rice water for my hair regimen for healthy hair growth, leave a comment in the comment section, give the video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.